Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you yet another Android 13 ROM which goes by the name of Project Elixir for the OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as you can see, I have installed Project Elixir ROM and if I go into the About Info section, you can see that the Android version is 13 and the security patch is of 5th September 2022. Let's quickly have a look and see what is working and what not is working on this ROM. If you talk about the installation procedure of this ROM. Since this is an Oxygen OS 11 based ROM, you need to be on Oxygen OS 11 to install this. I have already made a video on how to install Oxygen OS 11 based ROM and you can find the link to the video in the description below. Coming to the basic functionality, all the basic functionality on this ROM is working fine. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC and calling are working as they should. The ROM just comes with very few default apps and you can see no extra apps or bloatware have been added. You only get the fingerprint to unlock functionality for now. So no face unlock and no app locker in this ROM. And if I talk about the launcher, you get the basic stock pixel launcher with this one for now. Moving on, as I've already shown you, this is an Android 12 based ROM which means you get all the latest and greatest features released with Android 13 like more accents color to choose from in wallpaper and color section, you get the music player widget and output picker and other features. So all the latest Android 13 features are there and working well. All your banking and payment apps will just work fine as the ROM passes the safety net test out of the box and if I show you the wideband security level that is also L1 so you can stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Moving on, since this is an Oxygen OS 11 based build, you get the support of Oxygen OS camera and gallery app, which works fine as it used to on Oxygen OS. We also get a pre-installed Gcam, however it force closes for some reason on my device. And if I talk about the battery, I didn't face any drains as such and I'm getting close to 4-5 hours of screen on time and the idle drain is also very less, so don't face no issues there. Talking about gaming, you get 90fps support in BGMI and you can see that in BGMI settings, you have the option to select 90fps and the gaming performance is also so very good. Comment down if you want a full gaming review on this build. Now let's talk about the customization options that are available on this ROM. If I head over to settings, there is an option called Essence which has all the customization options of this ROM. Inside Essence, the first option we have is themes which include a lots of fonts to choose from and again a plethora of icon packs and signal icon styles. Inside lock screen, we have option for double tap to sleep gestures followed by some media art customization and some general customization like charging info. Next up, we have a status bar which includes double tap status bar to sleep and traffic indicator. Inside quick settings, we get QS customization which includes one of my favorite features of this ROM. Inside QS customization, you can select between 4 QS style styles and it changes the design of QS styles. Looks very very good in my opinion and you can also select a style for the brightness slider. This is one of my favorite options of this ROM and I wish every ROM should have this feature. Inside gestures, we get gestures like swipe to screenshot and quickly open camera and more. And in miscellaneous, we have some power menu settings and a basic gaming mode. And finally at the bottom, we have some device extra settings which have options like alert slider customization, touchscreen gestures, ambient display gestures, high brightness mode, FPS overlay, game mode and system vibrator step. So the ROM does provide a good number of options to customize your device. However, it is very less as compared to a ROM like Evolution X or nameless USB. So should you install this ROM? Yes, you can install this ROM and use it as a daily driver. The ROM is very solid and it doesn't have any issues as such. Having both Oxygenos camera and gallery app is a plus in this ROM. The ROM is really good and I'm yet to face a bug on this one. Thanks to the developer for putting so much hard work and effort in building this ROM. Comment down which ROM you want me to try next. Also, I'll be making a lot of ROM reviews and I'll be trying another Android 13 ROMs. Subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos. Thank you for watching.